Job chapter 32. So these three men ceased to answer Job because he was righteous in his own eyes. Then was kindled the wrath of Elihu, the son of Barokel, the Buzite, and the kindred of Raim. Against Job was his wrath kindled because he justified himself rather than God. Also against his three friends was his wrath kindled because they had found no answer and yet had condemned Job. Now Elihu had waited till Job had spoken, because they were elder than he. When Elihu saw that there was no answer in the mouth of these three men, then his wrath was kindled. And Elihu, the son of Barakel the Buzite, answered and said, I am young, and ye are very old. Wherefore I was afraid, and durst not shew you mine opinion. I said, Days should speak, and multiples of years should teach wisdom. But there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. Great men are not always wise, neither do the aged understand judgment. Therefore I said, Hearken to me, I also will shew mine opinion." Behold, I waited for your words, I gave ear to your reasons, whilst ye searched out what to say. Yea, I attended unto you, and behold, there was none of you that convinced Job, or that answered his words. Lest ye would say, We have found out wisdom, God trusteth him down, thrusteth him down, not man. Now he hath not directed his words against me, neither will I answer him with your speeches." They were amazed, and they answered no more. They left off speaking. When I had waited, for they spake not, but stood still and answered no more, I said, I will answer also my part. I also will show mine opinion. For I am full of matter. The spirit within me constraineth me. Behold, my belly is as wine, which hath no vent. It is ready to burst like new bottles. I will speak, that I may be refreshed. I will open my lips and answer. Let me not, I pray you, accept any man's person. Neither let me give flattering titles unto man. For I know not what to give flattering titles, and so doing my Maker would soon take me away. Chapter 33 Wherefore, Job, I pray, hear my speeches, and hearken to all my words. Behold, now I have opened my mouth, my tongue has spoken in my mouth, my words shall be of the uprightness of my heart, and my lips shall utter knowledge clearly. The Spirit of God hath made me, and the breath of the Almighty hath given me life. If thou canst answer me, set thy words in order before me, stand up. Behold, I am according to thy wish in God's stead. I also am formed out of the clay. Behold, my terror shall not make thee afraid, neither shall my hand be heavy upon thee. Surely thou hast spoken in mine hearing, and I have heard the voice of thy words, saying, I am clean without transgression, I am innocent, neither is there iniquity in me. Behold, he findeth occasions against me, he counteth me for his enemy, he putteth my feet in the stocks, he marketh all my paths. Behold, in this thou art not just." I will answer thee, that God is greater than man. Why dost thou strive against him? For he giveth not account of any of his matters. For God speaketh once, yea, twice, yet men perceiveth it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth openeth the ears of men, and sealeth their instruction, that he may withdraw man from his purpose, and hide pride from man. He, he keepeth back his soul from the pit, and his life from perishing by the sword. He is chastened also with pain upon his bed, and with the multitude of his bones, and strong pain, so that his, his life abhorreth bread, and his soul dainty meat. His flesh is consumed away that it cannot be seen, and his bones that they were not seen stick out. Yea, his soul draweth near unto the grave, and his life to the destroyers. If there be a messenger with him, an interpreter, one among thousand, to shew unto man his uprighteousness, 
Then he is gracious unto him, and saith, Deliver him from going down to the pit, I have found a ransom. His flesh shall be fresher than a child's. He shall return to the days of his youth. He shall pray unto God, and he will be favorable unto him. And he shall see his face with joy. For he will render unto man his righteousness. He looketh upon me, and if any say, I have sinned, and have perverted that which was right, and it profited me not, he will deliver his soul from going into the pit, and his life shall see the light. Lo, all these things worketh God oftentimes with man, to bring back his soul from the pit, to be enlightened with the light of the living. Mark well, O Job, hearken unto me, hold thy peace, and I will speak. If thou hast anything to say, answer me. Speak, for I desire to justify thee. If not, hearken unto me, hold thy peace, and I shall teach thee wisdom.